Hey everybody, I want you to uh, think with me today about the word consistency. It's not a word that you hear all the time, but uh, it is a very important word. It's a very powerful word. It means simply that, you know, doing the same thing over and over and over again, the same way over the course of time, right, over time. It can mean being the same uh, personality, the same nature that a person has, the same attitude that they have. Uh, over the course of time. So in other words, in other words, when you meet this person, you know that they are going to be consistent in their attitude and in their character and who they are. I love that word, consistency. I've thought about that a lot over the course of my years, especially as a believer in Christ. And that's one of the things that I admire a lot in different people, especially people that you know that have gone through some really difficult times, very tough seasons in their life, and yet they have maintained a consistency of who they are, a consistency of faith and a consistency of a life of holiness and prayer and, uh, you know, just, just people that you really enjoy being around. And so it's really important. And it, it, it requires time to, uh, to, to uh, develop that consistency in your personality, your nature, your life. Uh, the other day I was with my family and my granddaughter, Jaylen, was sitting beside me on the couch. And she said, she asked me a question that I <laughs> wasn't really expecting. And she said, Grandpa, how come your forearms are so large? And I said, what? And she said, how come your forearms are so large? And I never really thought about it. And I said, well, Jalen, I've been working out with weights for 45 years. That's, that's an amazing long time, 45 years. I've been consistent in working out. And I've been doing that, you know, all my all my life over all these years, and it's it's developed my my body physically, not only with strength but with size as well. And so I explained that to her, and and uh, then um, a few days ago I was with my my uh, son Matthew, and we get together every Friday, and we have coffee together, we pray together, we encourage each other together. That's what we do every Friday. And uh, then we'll end in prayer and then we'll go our ways. And as we were finishing up our time together, Matthew prayed for me. And my ears perked up because I heard him pray, Lord, thank you for my mom and dad for their consistency over the years. You know, you can't have a higher uh, compliment paid to you than that. You really can't. That you've been consistent over the years. Not perfect. No. <laughs> Not perfect, no, but consistent. In other words, you've maintained who you are in the Lord. You've maintained your composure, your attitude, your nature, your character, your disposition, your faithfulness, your dedication, your love. All of those qualities have been consistent in your life. And like I said, it doesn't mean that you've never gotten angry. You've never said something that you regretted saying. You've never acted in a way that you probably shouldn't have. I'm not saying that at all. That happens to the best of us but what i'm saying is, is that people don't remember you for those slips they remember you for how consistent you have been in the in the manner in in who you are that's what it means to be consistent and then just this morning i had a coffee with a, a an old friend that i haven't seen for quite some time and uh you know we kind of fell away for a number of years quite a long time actually we've known each other for 30 years and as we were talking, he was just kind of uh, telling me about, you know, the, uh, the issues that he's dealing with right now in life, just like we all are. We're all dealing with different things. And um, he uh, mentioned that to me. He said, you know, one thing that you've always been is you've always been stable. And I thought about that. And I, I, I was very thankful to hear that because that's what I want people to see in my life. Not phony, not a, not a hypocrite, Right. Not acting one way in public and then living a different way behind the scenes. No, I don't want that at all. And so I was very thankful that he saw me as being stable over 30 years. And these things are very important in our Christian witness to the world around us, to family, to friends, to people that we work with, our neighbors, people in our own church family. It's very important that we maintain that level of consistency, not being phony, but you are who you are. And it, it says in uh, James chapter 1, it talks about, you know, the double-minded man, for example, who is unstable 
in all of his ways. My son, or pardon me, my friend, noticed how stable I was. Well, James 1 deals with the opposite trait, and that is instability, unstable. And James says, the double-minded man, in other words, the person who's up and down and in and out, you, don't, you never know how they're going to react to something. You never know how they're going to be from, from one moment to the next because they are unstable. They're inconsistent and they're unreliable and on and on and on. But James says that man, don't expect him to receive anything of the Lord. That's, that's a pretty heavy duty warning. He says the double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways and he shall not receive anything of the Lord. So that's quite a warning. And so we need to take that very seriously today, that if we want all of God's fullness, his blessing, his favor, and his, you know, all that he desires to do in our life and through our life, it's going to require some consistency over the course of time. You know, it, it really is. You know, you're in the word, you're in prayer, you know, you get together with others, you fellowship, you, you encourage others, you know, you, 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 you do that, you get together and you, you minister to people. And you pray for them. You love them. Uh, you know, you don't snap back at them because they snap at you. You don't get into arguments that really result nowhere. You don't, you don't allow people to offend you over little things. You just don't do that. You are consistent in knowing who you are in Christ over the course of time. That's what it means to have a, that godly consistency in your life, which is so important. So I just wanted to share that with you today. Because, you know, we're living in a very changing time. Things are never the same, it seems, anymore today. But God does not change, and nor do we. We do not change. Our, our situations can change in life. Friendships, family matters, jobs, uh, positions, ministries, all kinds of things can change. But we do not change. We remain consistent through the power of the Holy Spirit. And that's what we want people to see in our life over the course of time. Amen. God bless you. This is Pastor Mike, and bye-bye for now.